get into the action with Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure on Netflix. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a long awaited Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous video. As I said in a video of mine a couple weeks ago, this month we'll be getting our first ever trailer for Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure. And finally, today is the day. Well, hopefully today if I get this video out in time. <laughs> but the first trailer for Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure has been released on October 18th of 2022. The first ever interactive episode for Jurassic, which means you get to decide how the story plays out. Today, as usual, we'll be breaking down the entire trailer and seeing what we can uncover from this trailer. We'll be breaking down the trailer firstly and then we'll be giving you some important key details afterwards. But firstly, before we do that, just double check that you have subscribed to the channel if you haven't already done so and be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Without any further ado, here is the full trailer of Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure broken down. Finally, the new trailer has released and there's a lot to uncover. The trailer starts up with Brooklyn flicking a switch that then turns on the power and shows off the gates to Hidden Adventure. Not much is known whether or not that this story will be canonical or not, but judging by the events we see, there is actually more of a possibility now than ever before that these events could be canonical to the story of Jurassic. When the power is turned on, we're greeted with Mr. DNA's voice, whom states that Hidden Adventure is opening very soon, suggesting that this could have been a new attraction that was set to open, just like Camp Cretaceous. And obviously, we know that this interactive episode will take place during the events of when the campers are back on Isla Nublar. And recently, we were confirmed by Scott Kramer that these events take place between Season 2 and Season 3. The foreign version of the trailers in different languages have loads of extra scenes that include more of Mr. DNA, so I also presume that Mr. DNA will be a narrator during our experience in this interactive episode. After they approach the gates, the campers arrive to what seems to be a communal area that hosts a tree and multiple bars. Now unfortunately, during the time of writing the script, we don't have an insanely HD version of this trailer out quite yet, but what we can see in this scene are two signs. One of which showcases an arrow pointing to what seems to be a jeep, and another one that's pointing towards a theme park roller coaster type of sign. This could be a little nod to the Bone Crusher roller coaster that we saw in the now non canon game Jurassic Park the Game. However, later in the trailer, we come across a roller coaster. More on that later in the video. The next scene then has Darius, Yaz and Ben discussing and questioning what Hidden Adventure is. However, they're standing within the raptor paddock that they first arrived to during their first night at camp. I presume this is where they first learn about Hidden Adventure and then later go and seek it out. A scene with a herd of Gallimimuses show up, with the next scene showing all of the campers behind a log. Now, Darius said that he first saw a Gallimimus during the events of Camp Cretaceous Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous, so I'm not sure if there's an edit here in the trailer or potentially a continuity error, but it doesn't really make much sense for Darius to have mentioned that Season 3 was the first time he saw a Gallimimus and not during the Hidden Adventure story. Again, this could be non-canon. After this, a snout of what looks to be a Tyrannosaurus pokes out, but I believe it could be something else. More on that a little later. Brooklyn and Darius are hiding behind something within the grounds of Hidden Adventure, as we can see the logo of it in the background. A scene then cuts to Sammy, Brooklyn and Darius at the seats of the Mosasaurus attraction. Darius and Ben then make their way into a gyrosphere and move under a herd of Brachiosauruses, before we finally get to our first choice. For this interactive episode, you'll be met with multiple choices with multiple characters that could mean life, death or escape. The first we see is Darius picking between climbing down a vine or jumping into a tree. I assume that he's been chased by something. Now, jumping into a tree is something more dangerous and could leave him with injuries and cause him to be slower, so perhaps picking the vine option will be quicker and safer for Darius. And picking the vine option, he could also proceed to run away rather than just hiding in that tree. In this trailer, however, we can see he chose the vine method. Vine or tree? Vine 
secretary. The underground tunnels will be revisited as we see Toro stalking the campers underground once again. A nice little nod to Camp Cretaceous Season 2. We then hear Brooklyn saying no, we need to retrace our steps. And I assume that this will be a cutscene that will mean that you may have taken the wrong option, which would then cause you to go back to where you were and pick the better option for example. We're then met with another scenario where Brooklyn is opening a hatch that has the initials of HB on them. Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure what this could stand for, but there's also images of Brachiosauruses on them. The options that are given on screen must have some kind of meaning to them, as Brooklyn is trying to guess a passcode to this hatch. 2974 has no correlation, 2015 is the year Jurassic World was released in cinemas, but I assume that the right answer would be 2005, which is the year that Jurassic World opened within this universe. Back on Main Street, Rexy comes face to face with the campers once more, before the scene then cuts to Darius saying run, whilst they are in the raptor paddock once more. Again, I assume this will be during the time we saw earlier, where they're trying to figure out what hidden adventure is. Now, are you ready for this? Our first brand new dinosaur that's added via hidden adventure appears, whilst the campers are trying to get away within the hidden adventure grounds. This looks to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex at first, and even sounds like one. But looking closer, you can see it hosts some spikes on its back and head, and doesn't quite look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, in my expert opinion, I believe this could be a Tarbosaurus appearing for the first ever time in Jurassic on screen. Again, we are still awaiting official confirmation on whether or not this is canon, but if it is, this is the first ever time Tarbosaurus is introduced into the Jurassic universe. A few quick scenes showcase Blue chasing down the campers in the raptor paddock, suggesting that she hasn't moved into her Jurassic Park visitor center territory quite yet, that of what we saw in Camp Cretaceous Season 3. A jump scare of three compies lurking in the dark jump out once a flashlight is put on them, and eventually start chasing down Darius. The campers seem to be at a small wooden bar, which again I assume is in the hidden adventure grounds. A pteranodon attacks the wooden log they're hiding behind, and it seems as if they found refuge somewhere within a building. After this, the Tarbosaurus chases down someone in the original Jeep Wrangler, with the Jurassic World colours on them, which is a nice easter egg to the Rexy escape back in Jurassic Park that involved Ellie Sattler, Ian Malcolm and Robert Muldoon. It's also worth noting down here that the Tarbosaurus's roar also sounds exactly the same as per to the Tyrannosaurus. <coughs> Darius seems to be trying to rescue or escape something as he jumps forward into the Mosasaur pit winningly, but was able to then catch himself on something. After that, we see a roller coaster in use that does not seem to be the exact same roller coaster called the Bone Crusher from the Jurassic Park video game, but instead is a unique roller coaster that has a face of blue on it, suggesting that blue was planned to be put up as an attraction for others to watch instead of just being an experiment. We then see Darius interacting with a touchpad, which I assume is where we'll have them meet Mr. DNA for the first ever time. The scene then cuts to where we see all of the campers, besides Darius, doing a little drum roll and getting excited. Noticeably, there's a stockpile of food next to them, so I presume that this scene takes place towards the end of the episode instead. Mr. DNA then takes up the full screen as he discusses to us what to do throughout this episode. Kenji asks Sammy, what's it gonna be? Which is where I believe another option will then pop up on screen for us to then decide in this situation. Darius is then caught running away from the Tarbosaurus, where Kenji then pulls him to the side, saving his life. The next scene, however, is the most menacing scene. We see the roller coaster has clearly crashed off the tracks, and the campers come face to face with the Tarbosaurus as he approaches closer and even looks to have eaten them, where the trailer then cuts. All of the information will then be revealed as to what happened on November 15th. Then we have a cool new logo for Hidden Adventure at the end of the trailer. And that's where the trailer ends. That was my trailer breakdown. However, stay right here for more information about this episode. 
So this episode is a one-time thing called an interactive episode. Essentially, it's a fun, game-styled episode where you get to take control of the events of what happens within this episode. Kind of like games similar to The Quarry and Until Dawn. Your mission is to try and keep everyone alive, whilst also simultaneously choosing the right path. I assume that this episode won't be as sinister as those games, seen as it's branded with Camp Cretaceous. However, I can bet there'll be some wrong decisions along the paths. Now, interactive episodes aren't usually deemed as canon, as they typically have multiple storylines and endings, which will obviously mess up the continuity. But, looking at this trailer, there's a part of me that thinks that this episode could actually be canon to the Jurassic timeline, whether that be only one path is canon, or that the episode forces you to play one path line eventually. Either way, it will be fun. Now, the main details we have here is that the release will be the 15th of November, meaning that we have just less than one month to go before its release. We also know that this episode will be a total of 32 minutes long, which is actually 9 minutes longer than the traditional 23 minute Camp Cretaceous episodes. It won't be a whole season either, and instead it will just be that one episode. I think you can probably gather that considering how many times I've said episode within this video. The synopsis of this show is as follows. After a big storm, food is scarce across Isla Nublar, and hungry dinosaurs are everywhere. It's up to you to help the camp fam survive and find the hidden stockpile of food in this thrilling interactive special. Now, for me personally, I'm actually very, very excited to see what this interactive episode is going to be like. We first found out about this interactive episode way back in what I think was March, and they said it was going to release in November. Not only that, when Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 5 released, I believe, or just before actually, I believe that we actually got more information regarding this and a little early synopsis from the website Bloody Disgusting. And honestly speaking, I didn't really know too much about it and I didn't really know what to expect. But after checking out that trailer, my first honest opinions are that I am very, very excited. Now what we're going to do here is take a look at some new images that released. One of them being the first one here is that we've got a new image of what seems to be the campers running away from this Tarbosaurus. Now personally speaking, the render in this image alone looks a lot better than the render we got in the actual trailer. So hopefully the trailer doesn't really do it justice but it does look absolutely awesome. But then again, it's basically just a Tyrannosaurus Rex model with a few spikes. I think it's very similar to Mattel's Tarbosaurus model as well. Up next, we have an image of what seems to be the roller coaster in a sort of helix pattern, but in the middle of it, we have what I assume to be Rexy the Tyrannosaurus Rex as well. Another image here has the campers hiding behind or inside some sort of shack away from what I can only believe to be the Tarbosaurus just because of the location that they're in. And just as we were speculating during my trailer breakdown, here is an image of the Tarbosaurus attacking all of the campers who are on this roller coaster. Undoubtedly a nice little nod to the Bone Crusher from Jurassic Park the game. We have a full on-screen showcase of this dinosaur right here. And yes, we still don't know what it could be, but it seems to have blood round its mouth, suggesting that it has recently just killed off, let's say, a Parasaurolophus. But not only that, we can clearly see that it is too clawed. Now, I'm not ruling out the fact that this could be a hybrid dinosaur that is still a potential. And honestly speaking, it looks like a really good hybrid dinosaur, I'll be deadly honest. But personally speaking, it looks very similar to Mattel's Tarbosaurus model, so I only assume, because it looks very similar to a Rex and a Tarbosaurus model, that this could be a Tarbosaurus. I mean, it's two-fingered like a Rex, it looks very similar like a Rex, basically has the same raw, I can only assume it to be Tarbosaurus. But this is our best face-on-face -face showcase of this new dinosaur. Not only that, but Chaos and Limbo will be returning in Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure with this brand new image right here as well. That's absolutely awesome if you were to ask me, because I feel like their stories shouldn't have ended as quick. We know Limbo died in Camp Cretaceous Season 5, and we presume that Chaos died in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So unfortunately, the three sisters of Isla Nublar Baryonyxes have passed away. 
And finally, right here, we have our first ever official posters for Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure. It says on the poster, all new danger, all new choices. Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure, November 15th. And at the bottom, it's actually quite interesting because it gives you an option to run or it gives you an option to hide. That's going to be really cool. And again, a side view of the so-called Tarbosaurus. And there you have it. Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure is coming to your Netflix screens on November 15th, 2022. So, not that long to go. Let me know if you're excited about this new interactive episode down in the comments below and what you're most excited about to see. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. But in the meantime, I hope you're all staying safe out there and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.